What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to tell you what I've learned so far about fruiting conditions for mushroom. These first three tubs are steel magnolias. I spawned them yesterday, so there's not really much to look at. It's just substrate. These other tubs are B+. I spawned them about five days ago, and they've pretty much colonized the substrate. So today I'll be putting them into fruiting conditions. This is the end result of fruiting. You will have mushrooms. You can usually tell they're done because the veil splits and breaks off and you can see it hanging down there. If you leave them like that for too long, they'll drop spores all over the place. So this tub is fully colonized. You can see there's some pens growing in there. There's lots of primordia and hyphonauts. Um, if you notice, there's lots of water beads all over the surface. This is another tub. Uh, some pens, some primordia, lots of knots. Just like the other one, there's water beads all over the surface. And here is another tub. You see water beads all over the surface. Pens starting to form. Primordia and hyphal knots all over the place. Which is an indication that there's going to be some pinning going on. This again is what you can expect in the end. After you've kept your conditions correct, eventually you will end up with mushrooms. This is another tub that finished its first flush almost. You notice the bluish green colors, that's just from cutting the stipes because the mushrooms were done and I didn't want them to sporulate all over everything. Here's a better example of what the surface should look like. You should be able to see the water droplets all over the place. You don't want pools of water, you just want little beads of water, like hundreds and hundreds of beads of water all over the surface. That's going to be the ideal conditions for Penning. So what is fruiting? Fruiting is just when you increase the air exchange to the substrate. Usually people will just flip the lid or they'll add another tub on top. When you first take the lid off, you're going to want to use a flare saw mister to mist the substrate and the walls of the tubs to create the environment for the pins to form. And we spray the top of the lid and we're gonna put the lid on it upside down and that's it. It's in fruiting conditions. From this point it can take about a week to 21 days, sometimes longer depending on what you're growing for you'd actually get to the point where you have mushrooms. Here I'm just misting the walls of the tub because they've dried out a little bit. So if the walls of your tubs are dry, you're going to want to mist them. You want to avoid misting the pens and primordia directly with a lot of water. A little bit of mist is fine and it won't hurt them, but you don't want to saturate them. It could cause aborts. If you ever notice pools of water in your tubs, 
you're going to want to use a clean paper towel to soak it up with. You don't want to leave pools of water on your substrate because it'll definitely lead to complications with contamination. This is just another example of what the walls in your tub should look like. You should almost always have some sort of condensation or moisture on them, unlike these, which are very dry. So if you look at these mushrooms, you can see some fuzziness forming on the bottoms of them. This is from an abundance of CO2 in the tub. You can usually correct this by fanning them a little bit. Like just take the lid off and use something to fan the tub out for about 10 seconds, maybe a couple times a day. It's not really a big deal, but you don't want it growing up past like halfway or the complete stalk of the mushroom. If they don't get enough fresh air exchange, they'll end up getting really fuzzy, really skinny, and they'll usually end up having very small caps. So you definitely want to stay on top of the fresh air exchange for your mushrooms. I usually don't fan because I use unmodified tubs. Usually they don't get this bad. I just I left the closet that they were in shut for too long so they didn't get enough air. Um, like I said before, it's not really going to hurt the mushrooms unless you let it get out of control. The fuzz has a bit of a different texture than the rest of the mushroom, but you can still eat it. It's still active. There's nothing wrong with it other than it's just fuzzy and that's really about it fruiting isn't really super complicated you're just trying to keep the appropriate conditions and climate for the mushrooms to grow in and they'll pretty much do all the rest of the work <clears throat> so if you enjoyed the video you know, leave a like subscribe whatever um, thanks for watching